Never thought I'd be so far from home. Never thought a love could grow so cold. Well, my heart did look good until I tried doing the wheat over here, and that didn't work out so well. So that is my coffee this morning. Yes. That is five points this morning. So I use some whole milk in there as well. And whole milk is easier to use with, uh, it's easier to, to do the latte art with more fat milk. <laughs> Eclipse, go away. But that's five points. Watching a girl on her phone this morning before I get to my dishes, but she lost six pounds. That is amazing. So I have breakfast this morning here. I have two eggs that were fried in one teaspoon of butter, which I did measure out. Of course, I have a dog here. I have a small apple, and that is breakfast. And I am in the middle of doing dishes. I got hungry, so I decided to make up a quick breakfast. And I am still listening to my book, Sandra Brown. I think it is Mean Streak or something like that. It is so good, but it's so weird because she was kidnapped. But then this kidnapper is treating her really good. And now... I don't know. It's just, it's just really weird. She's kind of falling for him. It's just a really weird situation. And I have a feeling her husband may be involved somehow. I don't know, but this is breakfast this morning. This is what I'm having for lunch today. I don't have any cottage cheese in here, but I may have the salad again for dinner, add cottage cheese to it, but I do have all the veggies. I just made the salad this morning and then I have some turkey. I do have some shaker stuff in there, which is a point the french dressing is a point because i only put like 10 to 15 grams on there and that's it i don't have any cheese just vegetables lettuce and then the dressing and shaker stuff guys i am on my elliptical it is so dusty you can tell i have not used it in a while i brought my dusting rag here i'm gonna dust this baby off and i'm gonna give it a go but that's what i'm doing right now i'll let you know how long i've worked out I'm going to turn on a video and watch it. By the way, I get to watch the deer out here, if any happen to go by. Great place for it. I'm in my bedroom, and I move this into there. I set my phone right here, right up here on the lip of it. That way it covers everything up, and I don't see how far I've got to go yet. <laughs> Works amazing. So I had one of these kind bars, and I had this on it. And boy, that was so good. I just was craving something sweet, and that really did the trick. And then I had my full glass of water, and I have a doggy. He's such a sweet boy. So we have snow again. It's snowing again. Moving awfully slow because the roads are pretty bad. And we have lots of snow and getting more. But I have to say, it is beautiful out. I love the snow. I really do. In a month or so, I'll be getting sick of it and like ready for spring because I'm ready to plant already. But for now, I'm going to enjoy the snow because I have no choice. Show you what we got. I'm going to put you on the tripod so I can show you a little bit better. Okay, so we got this little dice game called Roll With It. This is our dice that doesn't, it came with these little tiny dice, which are, which are pretty cute. But it came with 10 sets of these, you guys, in six different colors. That was crazy. And we, this is our dice, so we use those. But that's what the cards look like. And you have to match, so you have to get three fours to set us alongside here. And then you'll win this card worth five points. I got 80 some points. I kicked Corey's butt, I have to say. <laughs> then, oh, and it came with this little bag for the dice. Cute. So we play Farkle a lot. You guys may or may not know what that is. It's a dice game. And I ordered this um, score pad sheet. This is like an 8 by 11 workbook type thing. And it has all of the sheets in there for scoring. I mean, they're all the same. Like, man, this is going to last us forever, which is good because we like playing Farkle. And I know the kids will like playing Farkle, so I'm going to play with them as well. And it's so soft. It's that soft stuff. What do you call that? Does anybody know what that's called? It's really soft, though. I like it. And then 
we got, we've been hearing a lot of good things about this, the Seven Wonders Duel. And we like playing two player games. This is the two player game version of Seven Wonders, which is supposed to be good, but we haven't played it yet. So that'll be interesting. So it comes with the direction sheet. And then we haven't punched these out yet because we haven't played it. We'll probably play it tonight, which is why I want to try and get my video done and edited. But it comes with these little money tokens and these kind of tokens so I'll punch those all out and then it comes with I'm not sure what this is but yeah I haven't read the directions yet there's two of them I think oh it opens up huh. oh there we go so it's like a board game sort of thing with a small board and then it has these this score pad here a little tiny one it has these cards but it has these tiny, tiny little cards. A lot of these little tiny cards. I mean, a lot of them. <laughs> so, it should be fun. I'm excited to play it. We, you know, growing up, I grew up playing a ton, a crap ton of games all the time. And I don't think Corey did, but, I mean, he's not as thrilled about games as I am, but he's getting better. He is getting better. And I grew up, I mean, I played a lot of games with the kids, and I just grew up playing a lot of mainly card games, and I loved them, and now I'm getting into more board games. And we always played dice games, always growing up. Me and my sisters always played a ton of dice games all the time. I mean, it's what we did, because we didn't have a TV or anything like that until we were a little older, and so that's just what we did, or played outside. So that's one of our new games. I definitely want to get Wingspan. I'm so excited to get Wingspan because it's about birds and that you learn a lot about in the game. You learn a lot about birds. So I'm really excited to get that. So that is what we got in the mail today. Oh, we've got something else too. Hold on, I'll show you. I think I told you before that I was starting to collect items for, for the kids to do schooling. Well, we got their crayons in. I just got two eight crayons, set of eight. So, and this is that soft... Again, the soft cover, and it's a hard cover, but it's what would Danny do? So I got this one, because I got what would Darla do for Ada, and then I got this one for Roman. And we're gonna go through all of these, and I'm hoping to make the kids better people when they grow up. You know, nice people, kind people. That is my main goal with my grandkids. Always teach them the right and proper thing to do Use common sense, use stuff like that. My wee. But that is my main goal. I'm going to go because the dogs are going to bark about something. You. Oh, look at that. You got that? Oh, my goodness. Do, do, six, six. Oh, my goodness. That's amazing. I was just seeing how I could, kicked Corey's butt in this, and now I'm paying for that. Because he's getting all kinds of cards now. Six and six, here we go. That one's mine. And then I have a three and a three. And... You go, wait, let's see, let's oh see yeah, I get to is. take this. Here, take the, your card. There's the threes. Should have waited. Oh yeah, I should have. Um, I could put my ones here, but I don't want to because then I won't have enough to get this. Shuffle. Okay, you won one and I won one. <laughs> Super high point high chocolate is right. So this is whole milk with a little bit of half and half in it, plus a hot cho a hot chocolate pack. Plus coffee. Plus coffee. Double shot that's of a double shot of espresso, and it is eight thirty at night. Yeah, that's good, and it hopefully tastes good. I've got a little more milk to add in there, but I wanted to show you my cute little heart. I hate Corey for telling me about this. It's so good, you guys. It's so good. We're playing Farkle. I am not having any chips. Good for me. I had popcorn earlier, so that's all I'm going to have. I forgot to film it, but I'll show you what I had in a little bit. But we're playing Farkle. Oh, you took your score already, huh? Yeah. I had to try out our new pad. This is the popcorn, the Boom Chicka Pop. I had two servings of that. Check out. Place. That cute little puppy. I'm talking about you. I know. <laughs> she wants a chip. 
I'm surprised you're not over here earlier. Uh-oh. Now I did it. We are playing the duel. What is this? Seven Wonders Duel. It's very interesting, but hard to learn. A lot of stuff going on. So Corey won the game, but I didn't have dinner because we were playing this, and it's now quarter to 11, so I did not end up having dinner. But the coffee with the cocoa definitely filled me up. Bad dinner, I know, but I'm not going to eat at 11 o'clock. So I didn't end up having dinner, but I did end up having cocoa with milk. Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to my channel. The last couple days have been pretty good. So we leave in two days to head to Kansas City to go pick up the kids. I have to say I'm a little nervous about it because I don't want to get sick. So we are doing the best we can, packing the food that we can, and only going in places when we have to use the bathroom. That's it. We're not eating out. We're not getting out of the car to eat out. We're just going to take what we can. So that means we're going to be eating a lot of tuna sandwiches and a lot of boiled eggs because that's the two things that travel the best. Uh, string cheese. I'm going to try not to bring like snacky stuff so much, but I'm going to have to bring something that's more substantial. Maybe some peanut butter. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. If you guys travel with any certain easy foods that are healthy, let me know. We'll probably end up getting like fruit uh, along the way. Fruit cups from Love's gas station because we love those. When we travel, we always stop and get fruit all the time. So we're going to try to do the best we can on that. And we may have like a chicken sandwich through Culver's because those are only five smart points for the grilled chicken sandwich. That's all it is, is five smart points. It's amazing to me. We'll probably bring Velveeta cheese to put on it because that's just what we do. When we travel, we always bring Velveeta cheese just in case we happen to stop and get a chicken sandwich. There's other, Wendy's chicken sandwich I think is the in points as well, but we usually try to find a Culver's. Oh, and by the way, I got my Fitbit on. It wasn't working the first couple days. The time was off, so I synced it and it, it was still goofing up a little bit. But as of right now, I have 5,734 steps, which isn't bad. I've been trying to move a little bit more. I would really love to hit 7,000 today, but I doubt that'll happen because it is later already in the afternoon. So we'll see. I have only one flight of stairs, you guys, just one. And that's only because I had to let the dogs out. I am so much lower on my Fitbit than I was two years ago. My normal steps would be like 18 to 20,000 steps. That would be like normal for me. And when I got 15 to 14 to 15,000, I thought that was low. And now I'm looking at this thinking 5,000, that's low. <laughs> that's low for me anyway. But the good thing is it's higher than I expected it to be because I really... When I first put this on the first day, I think I got like 600 steps. I'm like, what in the world? But then I found out it wasn't working. So I'm not sure how many I got the first two days I put this on. We'll see how this continues. I'm going to, I'm going to write it down daily what my steps are so I can compare them every day and try to beat that if I can. And when I get on the elliptical, I'm going to get some more steps in. So I may, I may hit seven, 8,000 steps. I don't know. Depends on how long I can go on the elliptical, which I'll let you know. So yesterday and today have been great days. The day before that, I think it was the fourth. That wasn't such a great day. I went way over my points. I know I did. And I didn't even track most of it that day. So that day is going to be shoved aside and forgotten. And then we're going to continue on. Now I... I could probably figure out what I ate on the 4th because I didn't have much stuff here. We had company. My daughter and her husband were over. We had we had soup for dinner, so that wasn't too bad. So maybe I'm not as bad as I thought I was, but I did eat chips that night. I didn't have any soda. So far, I'm doing good on that, on that goal for the soda. I'm doing great. I haven't had a Diet Coke. I haven't had any soda. I just had my Crystal Light, and now I'm out of that, and the last time I ordered it, they didn't have it. So instead of substituting it for something else, they just left it off. So now I'm just drinking plain water. This Saturday, I'm going to be doing a weigh-in. I'll let you know how that worked, and the last time I weighed in, I didn't weigh in this last Saturday. I forgot all about it, so I didn't weigh in this last Saturday. And then, of course, on February, the first weekend in February, which I don't even know what day that is, I'm going to be getting on that scale for a for an initial weigh-in with you guys so you guys can see where I'm at exactly and hopefully watch my downward spiral of losing, I hope. As I start packing up my stuff, I'm going to be doing that on Friday 
So tomorrow, I think it's Thursday today, but tomorrow I'm going to start packing up already. I'll show you guys what we're going to be bringing with us to eat for the trip down there and back. I'll have to stop and get some snacky stuff for the kids. Not bad snacky stuff, but decent healthy snack stuff. We're going to feed them breakfast at the hotel. And then we're going to leave really early Sunday morning. We're going to leave super early in the morning to get back home. I've got um, people staying here with Nick to help him watch the dogs. And we'll be back Monday sometime. Hopefully you guys are all staying safe. I've been hearing of a lot of the Omicron virus going around. People are sick. So many people I know are sick and just got it recently. It is the Omicron variant and it's not quite as bad when you're vaccinated, but still you can catch it even if you've been vaccinated. So be careful out there. Stay safe. I always wear my mask. We're not going in. Like I said, we're going to be bringing our masks. We, when we do have to go into the restroom, we will be masking up for sure. No doubt. We're going to try to make it on this trip without getting sick once we get home. So keep your fingers crossed for us. I'm hoping that everything works out and then that they're safe bringing the kids to meet us and nobody gets sick. Oh, I hope nobody gets sick because I don't want that. My sister and niece just went through it. They said it's horrible. They don't want to ever get it again. And I just, I pray that nobody gets it here. We're trying to stay as safe as we can. So far, so good. But you know, this is a very, very contagious variant of it. So you never know. They're saying that almost everybody is going to be getting it within a couple weeks. So hopefully it knocks out this pandemic and then we can move on and uh, I don't know. But anyway, again, thank you guys for watching. We will talk to you guys tomorrow for another What I Ate. And be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And be sure to share it if you think anybody else may like it. And we will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. Never thought we had to work to burn and Changes as we know it. You do what you can, you just get through it.